Hello, this is Julie Carmen. I want to talk to you a little about um, how to organize your images in folders. And I will look at a couple of uh, websites with you to do this very thing. Um, I'll also show you how to download images to create your pattern. So I hope this is helpful for you. I'm on the Vaudlian, uh, digital Vaudlian again. Remember, we've been to that one before. Down here it has the collections that the search bar will actually um, look for. They'll look through all of these, so that's interesting. There's Western Medieval Manuscripts as part of it. And for here, um, I would go into the search bar and I would search for Book of Hours. And I just hit the uh, magnifying glass there. And here comes our lovely manuscripts on Digital Wadlian. And I think we've, uh, I've already decided this is a good one to look for for a patch. And I'll show you what I mean. When you look at the Digital Wadlian, they'll already have some images uh, digitized for you. And I kind of like this image here. If you scroll down, you'll see that there's, oh, there's another guy right there. And if you go down here, there's another image here. And if you keep going down, you'll see the very last image. There is another image, which is interesting. At least it is for me. So again, I'm using the sideboard or my mouse to make this larger. And then um, with the Vaudin library, you've got to make sure, well, what are their copyright rules? Here's over here is the... Um, information about that item which is really good but what are the parameters for copyright well it says terms of use here and it says permitted use of content and there's also prohibited use of the content so you need to read about it and say okay is this sub is this item something I can use when we're using images from Digital Vaudlium, so where you distribute, disseminate, or communicate the content to another person, you must, wherever possible, acknowledge the source of the content, which of course we would do. Um, it has a holding institution there for Vaudlium Library, so you're giving them credit where credit is due. So this is good information. Again, don't forget just to read what they're asking you to do. And that's easy to do. Okay, so... Over here, I've already looked at the copyright. I know what's going on. I'm going to right-click where it says Save Image As. And over here, it already has it as a PNG or ping image, which means I want to transfer that to either a, a Word document or um, a JPEG is usually what I do. So uh, over here, I'll change the uh, title so I can find this again. I'm going to name it Man. Well, it's not working for me. Let's see. Let's try again. Okay. So here's man. Um, <laughs> if I can type it. I am not having good luck typing this word. Okay. So here it is. I'm going to save it. I'm, I'm saving it. And it says I want to hand it over. Yes. Okay. So here it is. Okay. I'm going to go into... Um, the ping, did I say where I wanted to save it? I don't think I did. So save as, I want to put it as a ping, but the main thing is, I want to make it, oh, you can put JPEG if you want to. But the main thing is, I don't want it in the Contigo, so I want to put it on my desktop. Here's where I created an actual folder on my desktop, and you can do that too, and you can name it anything you want. I have happened to name this folder, uh, Saved Images. So I'm going to save man as a JPEG to my folders list. Okay. And then I get out of here. And uh, it's not important. I'm going to go into my folders uh, content, uh, area. And I'm going to go to desktop. I go to saved images. And there's man. And it's today's date. It's a JPEG folder. So I'll go ahead and open that. And there it is. Now, 
I've got it where I want it. Now, what do I, what do I want to do? Well, I want to resize it. And resizing it is where Microsoft Word really comes in handy. You come into Microsoft Word. You click on View. Uh, click on Make Sure the Ruler Part is Checked. So you've got this ruler here that helps you decide how what the size is going to be in this side, over here. So you can make it the width you want and the length you want for the uh iron-on transfer page that you're going to print it on and eventually add to the fabric. Okay, so that's done. Then you want to go over to insert, go over to pictures because your image is a picture, save this device, again go up to desktop, save images, click on man, there's my image. Okay, now it's very small, it's probably not near big enough what I need to do to embroider. So I can make it as wide as I want, I can make it as long as I want. Now, look at that. Now, you think, well, that's not a very clear picture. But I think I've told you before that the image doesn't have to be crystal clear for embroidery. You just want the outline. You're outlining the image in black, and you're filling it with satin stitch and couching stitch for the laid work. So there's your image. You can say up here, save as this PC. Go back to... Um, desktop go back to the saved images and and make sure that I put the the name of it man um, I can also put MS I think the the MS the, it stands for manuscript and I can put the number that I saw which I think was 243 oops all right then I can save it there is the beginning of the finished patch because that's the image I will save. I will find it. I will make, oh, the other thing I want to do is I want to make sure to save on this desktop also in, in the folder. You can put in your notes where you get from the catalog record. Um, and, don't, and don't forget how to find the catalog record. I go back into uh, this, this particular item here where I've got the image. There's my record right there. It tells me who made it, who's housing that image, uh, possibly the language. It says it's Dutch. Um, the timeline, which here says 15th century, third quarter. And who's the whole it is to definitely give Bodleian Libraries at University of Oxford uh, mention in the citation. You'll learn this. I promise you will get good at this and you'll get used to it. So enjoy that process. Go out of it. You have now created your first image. You know how to hold it in to your folders and find it. Make sure you name it. Make sure you get the right information for the citation. So enjoy. Enjoy the uh, Bodleian Library.